Welcome to day two of Vloggy Flossmasness Day. Today, oh, my name's Lee, by the way. I should toss that in there somewhere, otherwise, I, otherwise you can just call me the crazy lady. Because I'm kind of crazy. I am doing Vlogmas this year. It's kind of fun and exciting. I have four Yarny Advent calendars to open and a tea advent calendar. And I might also show you some of the things that I was stitching or knitting the day before. But I also figured since I have that tea advent calendar, well, how better than to, to drink said tea during the next day. So today, don't mind my reaching over here, today I decided to make my salted caramel Lebkuchen and drink it. Okay, the smell is really good. Oh yeah, that's real nice. Yeah, let's see how it tastes. All right, bird and blend, don't do me wrong. First bird and blend I've ever had. Let's hope. Oh. Yeah, okay, that's, that's definitely drinkable. Mm-hmm. Yum. <laughs> okay, that's good tea. Now, if only they weren't so, so far away, across the pond and all that. Anyhow, I decided I'd uh, stop letting the day get away from me and actually film before the, the, the light went completely away. I do live in the Pacific Northwest and it is almost three o'clock, which means the sun is going down. Can't quite tell, there's a wild reflection off the wall over there. So let's see, let's see, maybe I can... Eh, a little less reflection, more tree. Everybody can appreciate that, I am sure. So, let's get to where we're, why we're, we're all actually here for our little bit of vloggy, flossy, vlogmasiness. I'm going to start with my Burden Blend Tea Advent Calendar, day two found it a lot faster today. If it allows me to get it out. It did. All right, so what do we get today? Ooh, spiced clementine. Sweet and spiced clementine, the perfect festive tea, even if there is a spelling error. Spiced usually has an E before the D. Bah, who cares? They make tea. They're, they're, they're not grammar police. So there's spiced clementine. Hmm. Sounds pretty tasty. I'm not a huge fan of hibiscus teas. They tend to overpower. Love the color. Don't always like the flavor. There's a little bit of hibiscus in here. Hopefully the um, cloves and ginger overwhelm it, in my opinion. <laughs> we'll find out. Tomorrow is when we will find out. May tomorrow's tea. Mm. Be as good as today's. You can always hope. That's really good. Mm. All right, bird and blend. And um, I'm really impressed so far. Okay, now let's move on to the yarns. Yes. This is from Geektastic Fibers. It is their Women in Literature advent calendar. And today we get Meg March from Little Women. Wonder if we're gonna do all the Little Women for the first few days. Nothing wrong with that. Let's see what we get. Ooh. Look at that purple tealy goodness. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. That's a pretty one. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Next up, let's do Canon Hand Eyes. Isn't it romantic? It's a gradient set, and so we'll see what we get.
Ooh. I'm gonna have to compare this to yesterday's. That is very lovely. Very close to yesterday's too. I wonder how much lighter it is. I mean, it is a gradient and so I can see going through a whole nice spectrum. Oh, still love this color though. Oh, and this is the sparkly, the sparkly yarn one. Not that you're ever going to be able to tell that it is sparkly yarn. Maybe, maybe. You might catch some Stellina in there somewhere. Probably not. Whew, yeah. That light. I best talk faster. And then we have Hugh Loco. I did her One Pot Wonder advent calendar this year. If you don't mind me ripping into this pretty little pink polka dotted bag. Ooh, this is Never Summer. Look at those colors. Those nice blues. See if I can get any better than that. Look at that. Oh, that is. Oh, I really like her yarns. Mm, just real nice. Okay, and last but not least, in another polka dotty bag, this time blue, this is Earl Grey Fibers Alice in Wonderland yarn, the Advent Calendar. I'm gonna rip right in. Ooh. The caucus race. Look at that. Just little tiny bits of speckles on this lovely, lovely base. Let me let me see if I can show that off a little better. A little bit of speckling. That is pretty. Ooh. I also love the way they name their yarn bases. This is their sock weight and therefore it's the Darjeeling base. Darjeeling sock. I love it. it amuses me. Anyway, that is all the advent calendars. But let's see. Let's see what else I did. I I worked on some cross stitch. I worked on Christmas tea yesterday. I plan to work on this one all week. We'll see how far we get in it. There we go. Just the beginning of the border and some of light. There we go. Um, some of the holly leaves. I am doing my own conversion into hand dyed fibers, silks, because um, there seems to be a shortage of a lot of cross stitch threads and I didn't want to fight anymore to try and find them, so I'm just doing my own thing there. I also have my advent scarf, and here it is. I... Actually, I think it goes this way. It should be going this way. I'm finding this one very fiddly this year not relaxing and soothing like I've found it in past years. I don't know if it's just that all the individual squares have a million ends or the intarsia or the fiddliness of each tiny little square or what it is, but it is not making me happy. <laughs> and so I gave myself the, the choice um, this afternoon after trying to finish section two, I got these four squares done, and then I'd started on this fifth square here. I would have had another square here, some intarsia square here, squares here, and then three more little squares to finish day two, and I'm like, I'm not having fun. Now, I may, may I'm going to keep saving all of the clues, so maybe I will make it later, but I'm I'm not enjoying it right now. It's just too fiddly for what I want to do right now. So, sadly, I think this is going to go away. Um, maybe not for the rest of the Christmas season. Maybe I will bring it back out, but for now, I'm definitely not going to keep up with it. 
like I usually try to with her Advent scarves. But this one isn't this one isn't thrilling me this year. Like I like I thought it would. So is what it is. So instead I decided, hey, you know, it's December. There's a thing I should do. Let's make a sock out of Desert Vista Dye Work Socks yarns. Because I completely forgot about doing that until today. So I wound up my sock yarn. And I started my sock. Now I just need to finish the pair before the end of December so that I can have done all 12. Other than that, the only other thing I really worked on was last night. I kind of turned all the lights off, sat here by the Christmas tree. Well, all the other lights off. I had the Christmas tree and my villages going. Um, maybe one of these evenings I'll do a quick little tour so you can see this room in all of its beautiful Christmassy glory at night. Because that could be really cool, because it's really lovely. I'm very much enjoying it. But I decided that I would um, do some crochet by the light of the Christmas tree. And I pulled out my crochet blanket. It's not gotten a lot of work. There it is. There it is. And as I look at it, I'm looking at this and I'm like, mm, you know what? I'm, I'm not making a baby blanket. I'm not. Even if it is pink, blue, yellow, pink, purple, pink, green, all baby colors. And then the color I'm working on right now another pink and the next one another blue anyway I worked with that bit a lot of the Christmas tree it was very wonderfully relaxing I enjoyed it very much it was fantastic and as we have actually gotten over 10 minutes I am going to leave us there wishing you all a very happy second day of flossy vloggy vloggy flossmas and I, mm, I'm going to finish drinking this cup of tea while I edit and put up this video. And on that, have a wonderful day. And I will see you all tomorrow.